have knee arthritis or have had a knee replacement in the past, I hear from a lot of people that they would love to be able to kneel again. Whether it's playing with grandkids, whether it's someone said cleaning baseboards, whatever your motivation is to be able to get up and down from the floor and tolerate kneeling, this video is for you because it actually is possible. And my name's Alyssa, I'm a physical therapist and I help people with osteoarthritis learn how to live again, learn how to adventure again. And kneeling can be a big part of that. This is typically a way that you get up from the floor. It does require some kneeling, although there are, of course, other ways you can get up from the floor that don't include kneeling. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your knee or knees used to kneeling again. So let's go. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, is kneeling going to make my knee arthritis worse? What if I've had a knee replacement, maybe I've been told not to kneel, is it going to hurt the implant? Is it going to hurt whatever's going on in the joint? Research has actually shown that kneeling isn't contraindicated with a knee replacement. Kneeling also doesn't make knee osteoarthritis worse, but that doesn't mean it will feel good to you, especially if you go right into kneeling. We have to work up and gradually get our knees used to kneeling again. So it's important that you gradually work up to it and don't just go right into kneeling. But I want you to know that it is possible. It is possible to be able to kneel with knee arthritis, to kneel with a knee replacement. The caveat being with the knee replacement, you of course do wanna make sure that you are at least around eight to 12 months post-op before trying this, just to make sure you're feeling strong and that the implant is healed. So very first, what we're going to do is come to the edge of a bed. Now, if you have a higher bed, this is gonna be a little easier, but if you have a lower bed like this one, what you can do is grab a couch cushion so that it's raised up. Because what we're going to do is I want you to try to raise your leg up and start to just put a little bit of pressure on the knee. And so you see, if the bed is lower, we have to go a little lower and you might find that you're having to put more weight through the leg. But if you're up higher, and notice you don't need a ton of knee bend for this one either, then you're just gonna rock back and forth. Start to get that knee used to having some pressure on it. Knees can become highly sensitive, especially if we avoid a movement for a long time. They can become highly sensitive to especially having some pressure on that knee. So just working on shifting back and forth just slightly, and then you can even hold. As you get more comfortable in this position, you can start to push just a little harder and you can control this with your body weight. So you can lean further into it for more pressure and back off for less pressure. You can also hold on to something for support. So a chair or something, because you, since you are standing on one leg, this can be a little difficult. So if you wanna grab a chair next to you, depending on your comfort, you can also lean forward. We just want to start putting some weight through that knee. Now let's go to step two once you master this. Okay, so for step two, once you get your knee or knees comfortable with putting some pressure on them, we're going to move to the bed. Now notice I am near the edge, of course not too close to the edge, of one side of the bed. Because what we're going to do is we're going to roll over to the middle. So pick a side that you're able to roll over and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So if we start out in a laying down position or even just a sitting up position, you're gonna to roll to your side and then eventually roll onto all fours, meaning hands and knees. So I like to walk this leg over to come on your side first and then push up into all fours. Now. A couple of things here. I like this position because you have the use of your arms to offload some body weight. So we're still not putting full weight through the knees. You have your arms. Just getting comfortable in this position is going to be helpful. 
then you can start to add a little bit of a weight shift side to side where you're just putting more weight on one side for a brief period. If this is too much at the moment, feel free to go back to the other one and work on putting more pressure through your knees first. Work on leading with your body weight. Then if we're able to handle this, what I like to do then is if you grab, have two pillows ready, or you can use like cushions. Essentially what you're gonna do is have two pillows in front of you, preferably ones that don't just flop right down. Because now, notice how I come up a little bit, so I'm more upright. Now that puts more weight through my knees. You're not using your hands as much. So essentially we're trying to get away from using hand support and getting to this more upright position. Again, you can kind of go into that side to side emotion, weight shifting. And then the ultimate goal here is to be able to come all the way up. But even just here, rotating or moving side to side, getting comfortable, the higher you build up the surface, the more weight that's going to go to your knees. And then from there, you can start to work on a harder surface. Let me show you. Okay, so now this next step is starting to move towards a harder surface. Now you may spend quite a bit of time in these first progressions, working on getting your knee tolerate, tolerating kneeling, but in a way that's not scary. Here, we are going to actually, one of the options is to actually kneel to the floor, but using a cushion or something. So it is a softer surface. So what you can do is start on a couch and just move yourself down. Now, I do want to caveat this with that even being in a kneeling position, you still need the strength to be able to get back up. And I have a video on that. So while you're working on kneeling, you could head to that video to get an idea of a couple movements you can use to help you actually get the strength to stand back up. Because kneeling is only part of the problem when it comes to getting up and down from the floor. But here, this is how I would handle the kneeling portion. I would get a hardy pillow. Get a pillow that's not going to squeeze down. Get a pillow that's actually going to give some support. Even a cushion would help. So here again, we're just kind of starting to get used to putting weight through our knees on a harder surface. Then to be able to get up, the, the simplest way, not necessarily the easiest, but the simplest way is to get into this position here. So you can start to work on that as far as now most of my weights through that one knee versus being in this double position. If there's not really a way to get up from this position unless you rock back. So then you can start to challenge here and you can start to work here. You will need some degree of knee bending with this to be able to get your knee out in front. So check out that video on building strength and getting that mobility to get up and down from the floor. But essentially this is the progression that we like to use to help get your knee used to kneeling. After this pillow, then ideally you find some carpet or something. Um, whether kneeling on tile or kneeling on hardwood floor will ever feel good, it's kind of hard to say, but we'll never know until we start building up tolerance through these other movements. There are ways to be able to do things that you never thought you'd be able to do again. I need a lot of people who haven't been on the floor in years because they never thought they would be able to. There are ways to learn how to squat again or to bend over. There are ways to learn to walk longer distances, walk for hours like you used to. But the key is having the right steps and working in a way that gets your joints used to it 
So then you have much more confidence to lean or to bend over or to get on the floor. I had one woman who I was working with for a while hadn't gone onto the floor and kneeled on her knees for three years because she thought that it was going to make it worse. We started working through some movements, started gaining her confidence, working on strength, working on balance. And she was able to kneel and get back up with no problem. And it's crazy because when you have arthritis and when you're dealing with pain, movement can become really scary. And I totally get that. But you may be able to accomplish more things than you think you can. You may surprise yourself, but it's important to work up in these ways so that it becomes less scary and so that you become more confident. So you can go out and adventure. You can go out and do the things that you want to. Now, if you want to get started on this path right away, I do have the Arthritis Adventure Blueprint, which helps walk you through step-by-step -step how to get better at movement, how to reduce your pain, how to gain the confidence to go vacationing without having to stay behind all the time, or be able to go to your family or friend's house and not have to worry about the stairs. There are ways that you can do that, and the Arthritis Adventure will help you through that. So if you go to arthritisadventure.com, you will learn more about this program and join the hundreds of other people that have taken action and made their own adventure possible. I hope this video is helpful. If it was, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think.